back to DXB today, where we're celebrating motherhood. Why? Well, because we can, and why shouldn't we? Especially on the occasion of International uh, Mother's Day as well. Next guest is an award-winning multipreneur. Multi Get that one out, Tom, put your teeth in. Uh, plus also the chief hustler amongst us, creating flexible job opportunities for women through her platform, Rejoin. Please welcome to the stage at the force of nature that is Ashrada Mbarot Amarai. Thanks so much indeed for being with us. Thank you for having me. It's board. so good to be amongst old friends. Thanks for Young friends. <laughs> well, 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 I'll go with the old. Words. I'll go with the old. <laughs> yeah. with the old. I'll take it. Uh, listen. Um, thanks for joining. It's really kind of you to join this conversation, but I want to talk about Rejoin, if we can. Join the Rejoin. <laughs> What's the mission? So this whole story starts because mine was very much a planned pregnancy and planned motherhood. Um, so I think I lived in that La La Land for a couple of years. I was lucky to meet my husband very young and I lived in that land was like, oh, you know, how tough can kids be? I've already set up a few businesses by now. I run a successful PR agency. It should be easy, not that big a deal. Um, and then when I had my child, I was like, whoa, it was a huge reality check. I think motherhood really humbles you. Um, and since then, you know, running six companies, my peer agency is my oldest child, you can say, which is 13 years old, <laughs> white label. That's how we all know each other. But every day, like going into work and having sometimes sick child at home or having those days when you have to be there for the vaccination or um, just parents teachers meetings. And I just didn't realize how challenging motherhood can be when you're working. Um, and if I didn't have the blessing of being self-employed and being an entrepreneur, I genuinely don't know what I would do. Um, and having said that, I feel as well, entrepreneurs shouldn't be the only choice that women have. That is what ends up being the choice ultimately when women don't really have any options at work. Mm. Um, and 85% of women for this reason, within first three years of having a baby, quit their work. So that's what we want to change with Rejoin. We want to support women find flexible employers, supportive employers, so they can continue working, they can continue following their passions, um, and also help bring back moms who have been away from work for a long time. Shada, I feel like I have this conversation with a friend of mine every single day, where it's so frustrating, they find it so intimidating, and I will say another thing which I hope you address is, women mothers tend to go, want to go back to work, they can't find the part-time opportunities, and then when they do, the part-time hours are really full-time hours, but they get paid part-time. So how are you addressing that? So the, uh, a lot of this is really truly finding conscious employers who understand that, you know, a woman going for a school pickup or going for a PTM or just taking a day off or a couple of hours off being with their sick child doesn't really make them a bad employee. Um, I don't really think that it affects productivity really in any way. We're really trying to change that narrative when we speak to a lot of family offices, our clients as well. We make it very normal when we're speaking to them. And there are a lot of senior men that we report to. Um, and it's often like, hey, I'll be late today because you know my child hasn't been well last night and I barely got any sleep or I need to dash out a bit early for my school pickup. Just normalizing that conversation, that's the first thing so that people understand it's very much normal. It's not like suddenly we have this, I don't know, superwoman hood coming out and we, I don't know, are vanishing from work and then coming back automatically. So A is normalizing that and understanding that. And I feel that women really have, working mothers, let's say, have such less time to waste. We are, in fact, so much productive. I just want to get in the office, get my work done, and get out. So it's also un explaining that and making that very much normal and open uh, when speaking to different employers. I was actually going to say that. I feel like in the time that I've had my <laughs> child, I find that I'm so much more productive. Yeah. And um, so what kind of industries are, do you find that are mostly signing up to be able to offer the right jobs to these, these women wanting to get back into the workforce? I think, you know, industries like mine obviously are great for women who are looking for remote work because PR can be done literally from anywhere. Um, a lot of VA options, there are wonderful women in the industry as well who are training other women to be virtual assistants. So obviously executive jobs, um, things as well. I will just take my example, for example, like as a SME employer, 
There's another gap we are trying to fill is I can't afford a full-time CFO and pay 60,000 dirhams as a salary. Mm. But someone who's a mum and she's open to working a couple of hours, I can afford to pay an hourly pay to that same super senior expertise that I can get for my business. Amazing. So that's also a marriage that we are making between SMEs and a lot of talented senior women who are ready to offer their expertise and are happy to do it on flexible hours. But it does change from uh, country to country in terms of uh, maternity leave yes. and the different times, what's allowed, so on and so forth. How do you find it here in that sense of maternity and paternity leave? <laughs> I mean, I, I understand obviously Dubai is, you know, very, very progressive and we're so lucky. I feel definitely the nation is very much pro-women and we are getting even better and better. Um, the 45 days is very challenging, I think. Also, let me just quickly address maternity leave is not a holiday. Yes, <laughs> it's, indeed it's, so. Uh, we are tired. We are still doing the sleepless nights. We are in a lot of pain. Um, we need the AC to be really high because those hormones are crazy after giving birth. Um, so first and foremost, that's I think maternity leave definitely is a bit of a challenger that I do see. I do hope that um, you know more and more employers can offer extended. I as a medium sized business can't afford to do six months paid leave, but I do three months. However, I do give my team the option of taking unpaid longer maternity leave if they would like. So I think slowly but surely, definitely those changing, those changes are coming up. Nice. <laughs> so Shraddha, how are you helping women who have been out of the workforce for a number of years? How are you helping them transition back into the workforce and even regaining that confidence? Um, so we, we obviously consciously, you know, put the money where our mouth is and, and hire people and, and women who are coming back uh, from the workforce. And often the conversation that you hear is, there's definitely that huge loss in confidence. Mm. Um, we had one such really lovely um, part of our team who you know, joined us and worked with us for nine months and then she kind of also figured out that it's okay to step outside her house for a few hours. Her kids are gonna be okay, she's gonna be fine. To help her find as well her tribe at home, people who would help her look after her kids. Kind of get into that routine of getting ready, going to work, all of that, you know, coming back into sync. And come one year down the line, she was able to join another really massive firm for nearly three times the salary. And all it was just gaining my confidence back and feeling that, yes, I still got it. I didn't forget, it's like riding a bike, right? I haven't forgotten everything I learned, what I studied at uni or what I did a job before. I'm still that woman. It's just, I took a, a small break to raise my kids, but I'm still that woman who's who's been a, Community, <laughs> community is key, isn't it? Like yes. you're, you're, you're bringing yes. people together and you're doing a wonderful thing. I love that. Thank you, thank yeah. you. It's, it's the, um, I think as women, we need to support other women and understand. And that definitely happened to me after becoming a mom. I did not realize how emotionally and physically taxing this job is. <laughs> it takes it's, a village. It, it definitely yeah. does. Um, and we are all, you know, away from our countries here. What is the least we can do is understand that, hire fellow mums and understand that if she needs that support, then she needs that support. So let's just start. Yeah. Brother, thank you so much. And thank you for touching on all those points because I feel like I'm a better mother when I work. It's nice yes, to have a better mother when I work. I appreciate yes. all your input again for input and for everyone <laughs> out there who is interested in potentially joining the workforce again, check out Rejoin. Now it is time for today's Spotlight. It is on the first and only private network in the region focused on supporting women at all stages of their careers and throughout motherhood, helping aspiring moms invest in their dreams. This is Julie Nguyen from Crunch Moms. Hi, I'm Julie Nguyen, the founder of Crunch Moms. Crunch Moms is a tech startup we're a community and also we are the first and only private network for women at all stages of their career and motherhood. So 91% of women are educated here in the Middle East region, despite the region having the lowest number of women active in the workforce or in entrepreneurship. 40% of women take a career break and one of the top reasons is because of their care their need to care for their family 
Crunch Moms is the first and fastest growing women's network that supports women at all stages of their career and motherhood. Now is the time to be supporting women here in the region. It's a huge agenda, women empowerment, and very much so the UAE population is getting so busy and there's just a need for more women to stay active in the workforce. So the women in our community claim we are the most influential and most impactful women's network here in the UAE. Um, some of the other huge milestones for us is when Crunch Moms was still a concept, I got the opportunity to pitch Crunch Moms concept to the president of Y Combinator, which is one of the top leading startup um, incubators in the world, um, where I got the opportunity to pitch Crunch Moms to the president of Y Combinator at the Web Summit in 2020. That's one milestone. Second is that we've grown our community and our network organically in the last few years to 5,000 women in our database and on our platform um, to nearly 10,000 women on our Instagram. We've done over 300 workshops that are all focused on inspiring women, getting them back into the workforce. And most of all, we've placed women into jobs. We've helped them start and grow their businesses and coach them to one point and to see a huge transition in them at the end. And we're very proud of that. Our long-term goal for Crunch Moms is to be the most impactful and influential women's network here in the region. And most of all, to keep women active in the workforce. So for me, Dubai is everything and it's now the place where I'm raising my family and most of all, creating an opportunity for women here in the region. Next up, we're unraveling parenting experiences in the city with the popular podcast, Mother Tongue. And we've got music live in the studio, so don't go anywhere. 